Do you find yourself struggling on what to wear when it comes to going to church? Have you relocated? Are you in a new community? Are you visiting family and friends? And you're just not sure what to wear? Then this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. For those guys that are new here, welcome. My name is Caroline for Kalicious Loves. And in today's video, I'm sharing with you some tips on the kind of outfits that you should be wearing to church. Majority of the stuff that I'll talk about here are tips that will be more relatable to Christians. So church outfits can vary depending on your domination. Overall, when it comes to church, when you're going to the house of prayer, it's more about being respectful and modest. Being respectful of the place that you're going to, you are going to a place of worship. It's more of like a place of community where people come together to say their prayers, to thank God. This is not the place that you walk into with your spaghetti top, showing your arms, your chest, this, this, that, and that. I think it's very important to be mindful, if not for the place, but other people. You don't want to go into church and be someone that causes a distraction because <laughs> I know that people are going to pray but you don't want someone looking at you and be like hey see this girl fine skin mm, see this girl tight body snatch snatch vibes no 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 okay and I think that goes into being respectful like you you don't want to be a distraction because it's very easy <laughs> to distract people so here are a few tips that you want to consider when you're picking out your outfit for church. So this is just a guideline, but I think it's heavily dependent on your community, your culture. Avoid clothing that's too revealing or too fitting. A fitted skirt could be a distraction for somebody let's say a gentleman right or something slightly revealing might be a distraction for for somebody else and you don't want to be the cause of that distraction you want to go to church go and pray do your thing come back i remember when i was around 14 15 i went to church it was uh in lilongwe so it was quite auburn and i wore a pleated skirt and a long sleeve top the skirt was just below the knee right but a few days later one of the nuns came to the house and they called me on the side and was like oh i just wanted to let you know that the skirt you were wearing was quite short uh next time could you please you know wear something longer something that's not too revealing and to myself i thought like no it wasn't really that short until recently i went to a market when i was in malawi i was wearing this long maxi um dress that had a slit that came all the way to just above the knee and there was this guy that looked at me non-stop like if ever people look at you and have intimate things while just looking at you that guy did because he looked at me so weird as if i was naked and it hit me that some people are easily distracted and even though for me that skirt back then when i was young like i wasn't even fully bodied so for me it, it, it was it fitted properly you know even though for me it looked you know fine that's something that i could wear to church it might have been a distraction for somebody right and i think when it comes to church out of respect for others out of respect uh for god I, I have to like come back to my sister and be like, okay, is what I'm wearing good? Am I showing too much? Is it too fitted? Is it something that would distract somebody if they saw me? So just make sure that your outfit is not too revealing or too fitting, okay? Because we want to be modest, we want to be respectful, we want to be considerate. And this comes back to, I guess, something that's not too revealing so you'd have to consider uh depending on your community or your church or the culture because sometimes it's dependent on culture i might come to church here and wear trousers right but in malawi <laughs> and i go to the village there is no way i'm wearing trousers to church when i'm in malawi and when i'm going to church you will find me in an african rapper in a chitenje wrapped up <laughs> avoid clothing that's you know graphic or offensive i would say that when you are going to church avoid prints 
that have things written on them or slogans written on them like when it comes to floral prints that's fine if it's like abstract prints that's fine but if there are slogans that maybe they are okay for you it goes down to being respectful and consider it it might be something that might put somebody off and you don't want to go to church and someone has gone to church a place of refuge for them and they see you wearing this piece of clothing or print or slogan that they find offensive i think that's just not like a good member of the church so just be main, be very mindful for me if you're not sure just find something that's plain plain black plain blue plain white as simple as that choose clothing that's neat well maintained you want to look very presentable for when it comes to church right like i find that here most people don't really make an effort on what they're wearing to church anyway the the churches that i go to now put some effort into it right it's that one day of the week where you're going to say thank you god where you're going to you know come together with your family and friends with your community to praise god wear something presentable like wear that suit you know wear those smart pants girl you need to look stylish you cannot just look stylish when you go out and be gallivanting up and down when you go to church you also have to represent if you're stylish from monday to friday sunday mm -hmm, you should be stylish as well consider wearing uh appropriate shoes or footwear uh i would say that maybe uh simple sneakers or loafers uh I don't know about sports shoes. I mean, unless you're someone who is struggling and you don't have enough shoes, yeah, I get it. But if you know you've got a wider collection, I think smart shoes are perfect for church. Sports shoes, not really. Slippers, I don't know. If it's during the summer months, I think you can find simple, smart sandals that you can wear to church. Avoid wearing accessories such as hats, sunglasses, something that's just not really unnecessary you're not going to a fashion show it's not a parade so just wear something that's simple and that doesn't like call too much attention to yourself why are you wearing sunglasses in church it's not sunny hmm? why are you wearing a hat in church and it's like a simple fascinator or maybe the hat is part of the event at the church it makes sense but if it's not necessary there's no point you wearing a fedora a church i don't find it personally respectful to wear a hat at church or a cup or a hoodie no take that off let us all see each other properly also when it comes to culture right and this is something that i've had to experience quite a few times in malawi obviously when you when you go to church most of the times people will be wearing the african rappers which is called the chitenje you know it's just easier because you you do not want to be a distraction i don't cover my head right most women in malawi will not cover their head but if you go to the village some people will just wear like a scarf on their head and tied at the back but when i traveled to nigeria that was in 2019 i was going to my husband's village we threw in we flew in through Imo and on our way to my husband's village we stopped by the church and as soon as I got to the airport and my mother-in-law saw me she was like is this how you're going to church I had a like a slip skirt on and a t-shirt I was like yeah what's up I was like you don't have a headscarf I'm like for what so like, to cover your head I'm like no why is like you can't go into the church without covering your head I had been to the church in Lagos and I didn't really cover my hair but this was in the village so I had to cover my hair. I ended up buying two handkerchiefs. I don't know if I find the picture I'll put it here. So I bought two handkerchiefs, tied them together and just put them over my head and this shows you how things can be different just on the culture itself. Forget even the denomination, just the culture alone can you know switch things real quick they can take you from not covering your head to covering your head so if you're in a new area just go in respectful maybe carry something spare in your bag either a scarf or an african wrapper so that when you get there you just be like just in case until you are accustomed to you know how the people in the area carry themselves so the first church outfit is this piece that i've got from zara 
comparing it with knee-high boots. The reason why I have this outfit style is that most people shy away from like color when it comes to church. So don't be afraid to like liven up your wardrobe, you know, bring some life to your church outfit. Be very mindful when you are wearing white and think about your undergarments. So for example, with this outfit, it's a skirt and top. If you come really close, you will see in between. Like, it's like a light knitted uh, material. You will literally see in between it. And if I was wearing a white bra or a black bra, you could see through it, but the bra that I've got here is neutral tone, so it matches my skin tone, and you can't tell. And this might be a distraction for some people. I know, I know, but it can be. So just make sure that your undergarments are Correct. I have a video where I talk about undergarments that you can wear under white. When it comes to the skirt, if you have like a petticoat, I would say go for it. Yeah, this is it. I think it's cute. If you catch me in Malawi in the village, this isn't me. But obviously, if you are in the city or here in the UK, wearing a dress of this length, I think it's fine. Especially when the weather is nice and you throw in some fur. You know, you bring some light into the church, into the room. So this is such a really nice outfit. This is another simple outfit I wear to church. I've got a knitted dress underneath, a black knitted dress. It's not very fitting, but I guess for some people you could say it's fitting. I don't think there's anything wrong with this outfit. It literally covers you everywhere and just shows your legs. I'm even wearing like ankle boots. But you know, just to add a touch of color, I've got this purple um, blazer and it comes cinched at the west. So this is for my stylish people who want to go to church looking ahead. Growing up in Malawi, it wasn't really mandatory to cover your head. But like I said earlier that when I went to Nigeria and I went to the village, I had to cover my head. They didn't necessarily tie the scarf around their head. They just covered it like the nuns would do. So they would literally sometimes just wear the scarf like that. And that was it. Um, and like in Malawi, obviously some older ladies will like tie like a head scarf or like do a hairdo. But in Nigeria, I mostly saw women wear their headscarf like this. And most of the headscarves were like um, less headscarves or mesh, not necessarily silk or cotton. So that was like uh, a casual show, even though it was the same denomination. Here is another simple outfit. Obviously, I've got this uh, black and gray dress from Zara, but I'm adding a bit of color, mm -hmm. pink jacket to the outfit and some flat shoes. All I can say is that if you're not very comfortable with your high heel shoes, avoid wearing them to church. Comfort is key. If you know you can't walk in your heels properly or you can't stay in them for so long, just wear flat shoes. I've got these flats that I've recently got from Primark. If you are wearing like a button down shirt or dress, a safety pin is your best friend, okay? If you're a big butt girl like me, sometimes these button down shirts, they just don't do it, they, literally. So if you know that there's a little hole that's popping there, there is no shame in taking a tiny safety pin and hiding that little hole, as simple as that. It's okay if you understand your community, if you're used to it now and you know that it's okay to wear fitted clothing, then it's fine. Just going back to the undergarments, make sure that your undergarments are not calling unnecessary attention. But this dress is quite fitted, so you can literally see where my stomach ends, where my ass ends. I think this is quite decent. I'm not really showing anything. Even the V-neck is very conservative. Um, but yeah, this, this is cute. This is something that I've worn to church before. Just make sure that you are confident with it because sometimes an outfit might be okay, but if you are showing discomfort, then it takes out the okayness from the outfit. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope the next time you're thinking about going to church, you know, an outfit will come easier 
to you don't forget to share this with your friends who might find it helpful don't forget to like and if you've not subscribed you found this helpful do consider subscribing thank you so much guys i will see you in my next video bye